Good morning, friends. I woke up to the gentle sound of rain on my window, which was the perfect start to a slow, peaceful morning. I always look forward to rainy days when the world feels softer and quieter. As someone who often experiences feelings of anxiety and overwhelm, mornings like these feel like a reset for my nervous system, a reminder to move slowly and breathe deeply. The last two weeks of October were unseasonably warm this year, but as soon as November began, the temperature dropped and the clear blue skies turned cloudy and gray. But this dreary weather was exactly what I needed, the perfect setting for snuggling up with books and cozy cups of tea. I'm reading The Book of Life, which is the third book in the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. I've devoured the series this autumn, and I've really been enjoying the books. I think they have such a dark, atmospheric vibe that has been so perfect for the fall season. to the calming rain, this kind of weather is my absolute favorite. In the past, I'd spend chilly days like today entirely indoors, but in recent years, I've been trying to go out for daily walks whenever I can, no matter the weather. Embracing the outdoors has helped me cope with the winter blues as the days grow colder and darker. Not only am I able to still enjoy the fresh air, but spending time outside in the colder months has deepened my appreciation for nature and the unique beauty each season brings. I like to pay attention to the subtleties of nature around me. The rich aroma of damp soil, the delicate patter of raindrops falling on leaves, and the touch of wind on my skin. I allow my senses to take over and ground me to here and now. I've 
learned that mindfulness isn't always about solitude. It's about connecting to the world in its simplest form. It's understanding that sometimes self-care means stepping out into the rain and simply paying attention. The park was so beautiful even though it rained the whole time and I stopped at the grocery store on the way home to get some ingredients to make soup for dinner tonight. I'm still feeling a little bit cold after being out in the rain so I'm going to go take a shower and warm up. I'm feeling so much better after my shower, but I still want to warm up a little bit more. So I'm going to make myself a cup of pumpkin spice hot chocolate. This recipe is so good this time of year because it combines cozy fall flavors with wintry hot chocolate and I make it all the time. It's so yummy. It's made with cacao, pumpkin puree, and pumpkin spice. And it is a bit rich, but you can feel free to add some more milk and adjust the recipe to your liking. So I'm going to make myself some hot chocolate and then snuggle up with a book and a blanket and get cozy.
Before getting ready for bed, I wanted to take a few minutes to do my October monthly review. At the end of each month, I like to reflect on everything that's happened in my life and write out my wins, challenges, and favorites for the month. I love putting extra intention into creating a monthly spread because it's a way for me to celebrate my experiences and accomplishments no matter how small and mundane they may seem. And it also makes it even more fun to flip back through my journal and see snapshots of different moments in my life which gives me so much perspective. I try to focus on only one or two main goals every month. For example, in October, I really wanted to focus on making the best videos I possibly could for YouTube while also completing several freelance projects, and I was able to accomplish everything I wanted to do in these areas. And I was so excited because this past month, our YouTube community reached 16,000 subscribers, which was an incredible milestone. Thank you all so much for subscribing and watching and supporting me and my art. It truly means so much to me. I also like to reflect on my challenges each month and I really like to view these things as challenges instead of failures because it helps me approach them from a problem-solving perspective so I can focus on how to overcome them in the future. And lately I've also been writing my favorites of the month and this could be books, art, music, TV shows, activities, just anything that brings me joy. And for October, I was completely immersed in the All Souls trilogy, so I had to write that down, and I also really enjoyed Practical Magic and Slewfoot, which was probably my favorite book of the month. And for music, I've really enjoyed listening to Hosier's new album Unreal Unearth, as well as Paris Paloma's music and Dance Fever by Florence and the Machine. Florence is literally my favorite artist of all time. I've been a huge fan since I was a young teen back in the Tumblr days, and I saw her live last September for her Dance Fever tour, and now I always associate that album with Autumn. I also like to print a little photo on my Instax printer to represent each month, and this time I chose a scene of me walking in the woods from my Autumn Magic video. And that is my October monthly review. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more of my journaling process and how I make sense of my everyday life and monthly goals. Thank you all so very much for spending this rainy autumn day with me. I'm so grateful that I can share cozy days like today with you. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Good night, friends.